Well, this is strange. Girls have just actually gone into school. I've got my backpack that's attached to my GoPro. I'm about to go sourcing in charity shops for stock for my business. It's April the 12th. Come on! So welcome back to the channel, Tatsters. You know it, but if you are new here, my name's George. This channel is Retro Reselling, and I buy and sell all sorts of secondhand, new, pre-loved, vintage, antique, whatever items. If I can find it cheap at places like boot sales, charity shops, auctions, I'll buy it and flip it online for a profit. That's the name of the game. That's my business. That's how I feed the kids, keep a roof over our head. Obviously, as you may well know, if you are in the UK or in England specifically, April the 12th means stage two, is it? Of lockdown being lifted, which means non-essential retail can now open. Charity shops, auctions, and I have at least three boot sales this week. So yeah, this is what this channel is all about. Mainly sourcing for core items to flip online for a profit. And yeah, I'm going to be hitting it hard this week, especially today. As you may well know, I turned 30 on the 31st of March. I know, right? 30, doesn't look like it, but I did. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of charity shop type videos from other YouTubers, I guess. So I thought, how do I put a little spin on this for my one? Well, I thought, why not? As I turned 30, let's hit 30 charity shops in one day for turning 30. So that's why I'm fully dressed now, fully ready. Got my clean snood on for covering the face and it's April and it's freezing cold. We had a bit of snowfall, which is mad. I'm raring to go. It's half past eight, which is a bit of an awkward time. I'm hoping that one over there is open. So that's charity shop number one. I can hit straight away, take it off. And obviously 30 charity shops, I'm gonna be hitting different towns. So gonna go around Chelmsford, maybe then hit Braintree, so go up Essex, counting on the way, visiting 30 if I can, before I get the girls again for school, and then see how much we can actually get, if there is anything to pick up. Obviously I film as much as I can in each charity shop. Uh, obviously 30 charity shops, they all look the same after a little while. So I'll keep it flowing if I can keep an account on the charity shops I visit and if there are music random music bits I have to put over the top then that's just because they've got the radio on or a CD I've got to cover it up for copyright on YouTube right let's quit talking let's get in the first charity shop let's get this 30 charity shop for turning 30 challenge started Woo! First hour, is it? Nice. See you later. See ya. We're off the mark. One charity shop, one pickup. Charity shop number two, just here. Again, been shut since December. It says they're opening at nine and it's 9.01, but um, still says it's closed. So not sure what's going on there, but there's no queue. I'm gonna be first in, hopefully, Carry on with the trend of the first charity shop. Found a nice tweed jacket, three pounds. Was it three pound fifty? I've already forgot. In all the excitement, should be forty to fifty pounds return. So if we keep that up, times thirty shops, then we're laughing. Let's see what's going on in this shop. Thank you. 
Okay. Thank you very much. There we go. We got ten. Yeah. That's brilliant, sir. I'm really pleased. Thank That's you right. very much. Thanks. See you. Thank Bye. You. <coughs> Thank you. Well, this is going very well. Three more pickups, I'm pretty sure you saw them, but obviously I will show you every time I leave a charity shop, otherwise we'll spoil the end results. But yeah, three more pickups, three solid pickups as well. Spent 10 pound, should be returning, what, 40, 50 quid on that lot maybe? Maybe a bit more, just off the top of my head. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day, I can tell. Next stop, I have decided to come to Chelmsford Town but I'm only gonna do one half. First half, which is normally like near the shopping centers and that, that's got like British Heart Foundation, uh, Oxfam. They tend to be very expensive. I don't really pick up much there. I'll come to the second half with the more independent type shops, smaller shops. Also there's a cash converters, obviously not a charity shop. Might not count it towards this tally of 30. Uh, depends how I get on. But obviously I always pop in there, there could be something worth Pick it up, you never know. Can I see the camera lenses? The Canon ones? Yeah. Hi, where's the start? So, um, I've got some books if you're interested. Yes, sure, that's fine. Um, I've dropped some from here before. Can I see that one as well? Um, so it's the same but slightly different. Yeah. Uh, oh, I will get them as well, please. Them too. I will, please. Yep, yeah. please. Yeah. Thank you, cheers, bye. bye. Yeah, 
One more. Thank you. Some changes. It's Chelmsford Town done, or half of Chelmsford Town. So yeah, done really well in the shops that I said I would. Filled the bag, went back to the car to drop it off. Uh, done the couple of second half ones, like this end of town, and uh, picked up nothing, like I said I would, like in the main part of town. So yeah, predictions went well. Uh, I could do another three. We're on, I will count cash converters actually. Uh, sue me, what are you gonna do? We're on eight, eight down, 22 to go. Yeah, I will count cash converters if you don't mind. Charity shop thrifting stores, there you go. I've got another two in mind for Chelmsford. And then we're gonna go out of town. I think I'm gonna hit Braintree first. Loving this, loving it, let's go. Bernardo's and a fairly hospice. Nobody do well in here. Let's go in. Just get that one, please. Whoa, nice find. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you very much. Cheers, bye. bye. And that one makes it 10. 10 done, third of the way there. Nice and quick actually. Half 10 is it now? So yeah, not bad, hour and a half in. And they've definitely stocked up. Some people weren't sure if it was the exact same stuff from when they first shut down. And then as soon as they open, then they'll start filling the shelves. But they've definitely been in early throughout the weekend or last week. Uh, even heard them talking, they've been steaming all weekend, getting fresh clothes out, getting fresh stock out. And yeah, definitely finding really good stuff. The only thing, as we go, throughout the day obviously more resellers and more customers would have been to the charity shop so as we get to lunch time and after lunch you'll see people have been hitting them throughout the morning like i am here so i might not be finding good stuff throughout the day but it's always worth a look um yeah 20 to go Shop number 11 just done. 
and popped in Asda while I was there. Quick mid-morning snack, raspberries and some sparkling water. And when I get back in the car, fill up with petrol, so I'm running low, and we're off to Braintree next. Hopefully another six or so charity shops. Tick them off the list. Yeah, we're going well. Okay, so 15 minutes or so down the road, we're now in Braintree. So hopefully, I think there's quite a few. I think there's about six or seven, including the cash converters, which we are counting. So yeah, tick them off, all within the same sort of high street. So yeah, short and snappy, putting little clips of each one, if I pick anything up, and then on to the next one. So let's get in there. And it, there's something through the window I was looking at as well. Let's leave that there for now. This one. Yeah. There's a vintage spoon box at the top. JVC. So, shall I grab it for you? Lovely, thank you. Oh, yeah, it is heavy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit. <laughs> Do you know if it's been like tested? Fully in working yeah, or it has been tested. Okay. Uh, I think that literally came in about four days ago. So. Oh really? Yeah, okay. you do get a six month warranty as well with it. Okay. So I'll give you a receipt if there's yeah, a problem. Cool. Yeah, we'll grab that one please. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Bye. See ya. That's the latest from Magic. I'm Katie White. Magic weather. A mix of sunshine and scattered wintry showers for most of us throughout most of today. Cloudier and wetter in the south of England and Wales. It's feeling pretty chilly too. Highs of nine Celsius. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh god, it's you. Oh, it's no me. Wonder. Yeah. It's you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you do that with my part of the world. <laughs> I'm going everywhere today. Yeah, I thought you might be. <laughs> I'm everywhere today. <laughs> yep, yeah. get rid of the uh, the um, the need. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Is that right? Oh no, you're okay. Is that right? Yeah. yeah.
I found this but I couldn't see a price on it on the tag okay um yeah that would be fine yeah yeah, yeah. that's fine wow 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 thank you braintree my ikea bag was nearly full i had stuff in my backpack i was carrying a boom box spoilers and designer stuff picked up a burberry coat 25 pound she had the, she made up a price and i sort of I had a guess it was like a thin quilt jacket but should be worth more than 25 surely i'm getting all the goodies today bumped into a couple of viewers actually uh they had a couple of things ahead of me so i could have got even more but i'm being sport for choice so i don't really mind enough to go around so i think i'm on 21 so nine to go leaving breakthrough now we're gonna go to whitham i like whitham uh should be another 15 minutes away nice little route back home and I think that should take us to 28, 29. So one left. Not as bad as I thought. I thought it'd be an all day thing. But we're at, what time are we at now? We're at 10 to 1. It's not too bad. Getting a bit hungry. So I might pop into Greg's, get some lunch while I'm in Whitton. Um, yeah, just hope the good luck continues. Let's go. Here in Whitton, Sunny's on. Let's rack up these charity shops, shall we? Boom, I'm counting that as number 29. Last one to go, and it'll be exactly where we started. I do visit that shop twice a day anyway. I'm gonna drop the girls off, I'm gonna pick them up. I always pop in there, so even though it's the same shop, they always rotate stuff really quickly. They're all about get stuff in as much as possible, get out as quick as possible. So yeah, that'll be my last one. Just done with them, only got two things, a pair of trainers and some very nice pair of boots. Basically done, 10 to two get home have a nice little sit down before the girls get back and obviously finish the 30 shop challenge i've been spoilt rotten i think i've said it already but yeah i'm so so happy it's gone much better than i thought knew i'd get like an ikea bag for at least like decent stuff one to two ikea bags and overflowing so yeah it's gone really really well and that's even with losing out on a couple of things from other viewers that i saw again bumped into another viewer so that was all cool right let's get home See you in the last charity shop and we'll wrap this video up. I'm here with lovely lady wife who doesn't want to be on film. Do you want to be on film? No. Doesn't want to be on film. Now, this is the 30th one, but it's the same one as I've done with number one. Amy doesn't think that counts, but I'm saying it does count. In fact, if I do pick something up that wasn't there this morning, it does count. If I don't pick anything up, it doesn't count. I'll find another charity shop. How's that? That's good. Good deal. Good deal. Right, let's get in then. Yeah, yeah, that's a good Oh, no. I've got to put my Yeah, you know, they're going to be 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 Yeah, you know, they're
Yeah. Told you. What did I say? <laughs> I get through stuff so quick. It's worth going in twice in one day. Three pound wash. 30 complete. So we go, picked up some headphones. So that last one counts as a last one. 30 charity shops for turning 30 in one day. Done. Got the girls now. Yeah. Amy Mazes in Morrison's getting some dinner. Definitely the best ever charity shop run I've ever had, ever. Amazing stuff, designer, vintage electronics, bread and butter, shoes, trainers, clothing. It's got the lot. I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be quite long, so I'll cut it here. Obviously, if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that button now, hit the bell, so you know as soon as I do upload the haul video, which should be coming in the next day or so, I'll do a separate video laying out everything that I got. We'll go through one by one what I paid, what I'm hoping to get for it, and then do sort of a thing at the end, showing what I spent to what the stuff's worth. Then obviously, sell it. Buying's the easy thing. Selling is the thing that pays the bills. So thanks for watching, good to be back and out there again. Boots out on Wednesday, two days away, can't wait. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.